This is not planet Earth. I think we gathered that already, dude. I know that this is three wires wide, but if you look at the way he's running on it, this dude has got incredible balance. Especially considering he's wearing a full spacesuit. And the mobility in those things is not great. Okay, now how do you get down? Jumped across to there, or there might be something that I wonder this is going to be a test if the jetpack can actually slow me down enough. So let's give it a go. Oh. No, not supposed to go down there. Did not hit the ground very hard and immediately went splat. Uh, okay, it's this way. Is it this way? Yes, it is. See, I'm clearly meant to jump across to there, but I figured maybe there's going to be like a secret or a pickup or another log at the bottom of that, so I'll just jump down. So when in games, physics just don't make sense, where you're not supposed to go down there, so if your feet touch the ground, you instantly have a falling death, despite the fact you weren't travelling very fast at all. Oh, look at those. That was a smooth-ass landing. Now the question is, do I go down there to the bottom to see if there's anything there? Eh, well, let's do it. Why the hell not? It's one of the problems with playing a game like this for a Let's Play. Is these games really well... Well, there's nothing here, but... um. These types of games really reward, like, exploration and checking every nook and cranny. But that doesn't make for very interesting viewing. I know that everyone just wants to get on with the story, see what happens next. And I know it drives me mental when I'm watching a Let's Play, and it's like, yes, look, just go through the door, carry on with the story. And someone checks each and every single cabinet, drawer, every corner, see what they can find, looking for secrets, and it's just like, get on with it. Which I know I have been guilty of more than once. Okay, another another tightrope challenge. Oh, oh, overcooked that. Shit. Splat. And as I said before, this jetpack, it feels like sometimes you do try and do the double jump and you'll get the tiniest little extra boost out of it. And the next time... You press it and you go flying. Like, that should not be a single jump. I'm sorry. It wasn't before. Oh, looks like a big hydroelectric dam. Don't know why it's hydroelectric, but I just like saying hydroelectric. So, that's a hydroelectric dam. Oh. <laughs> and the jetpack fuel runs out at the speed of plot. Oh, crap. And even though I was just talking about it, I just assumed I'd be able to get at least two boosts out of it. I nearly died. Okay, so how do you get down? Um, This way. Go to the green stuff. Green stuff is always good. No, I didn't mean... To, oh, I didn't mean to jump. I meant to boost to slow my descent like that. There we go. So we're basically chasing a Russian woman who leaves green slime in a wake. I'm not even sure if this is where I'm supposed to be going down here, but um, we'll sh soon see. Ah, there we go. Let's go across the obviously broken and precariously placed pipes. And, oh, come on. Oh, don't tell me I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah, if you're going to have platforming in your game, the controls need to be really, like, spot-on tight. And I don't know where I go from here. This is clearly the, the direction. But that's a dead end. Can I get into this pipe somewhere? Looks like it's definitely open, open there. 
Oh, God. Yeah, for the amount of platforming in this game, the controls are just a little bit too floaty. Um, where the hell am I supposed to go? So we came across there, we jumped onto there, we followed the green slime, and once again we appear to be lost. Uh, can we go this way? These definitely look like steps. Yeah, it looks like this is the actual... Yeah, and we get into the pipe there. Because that wasn't confusing. And now jump across into there. Whoop. Don't overcook it. There we go. There are a lot of tubes in this game. It is strange, it's like, here's a, a quick burst of story, quick bit of exposition, and now here is, basically, run from point A to point B, with some very sort of awkward jumping. Oh, another log, let's see. The dam is sturdy and our reservoir will sustain us. It marvels me how little the tactics of colonization have changed in hundreds of years. We still require food and water to live, wood, stone and steel for shelter. It does not matter if we build on a distant planet or on an island in the North Sea. It's all the same. Survival. Auto-translated from Russian. Well, that's a bit obvious, dude. I've got to, I've got to point that out. Like, it's not suddenly, oh, we live in the future, we no longer require food or shelter. Hierarchy of needs. Oh, come on, you arsehole. And that... Oh, I thought that was the strange Russian lady at that gate. It's not. It's just the centre of the gate. Can we get through this, or is this going to be another puzzle? Hmm. Okay, I'm clearly not jumping over it. Unless I can kind of... No. Um... Oh, I see. There is a little thing down here. That's not going to be jumpable. So I'm going to guess there's something I have to push across to give me a little leg up. Or can go through. Ah, there we go. That's a bit of a weird puzzle. <laughs> In fact, does that even count as a puzzle? It's just, here's a fence you can't get past. Although, if they're going to put a fence there, and that's how you get round it, that is just bad design on parts of the dam makers. That's like putting a massive steel door in the middle of a glass wall. Or a fence that's only like Covering a six foot gap with a three foot fence. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, so. No. I'm actually starting to get a little bit bored and wound up with the way it's just. Run. Oh, look, suddenly it's a dead end. Work this one out, fucker. And you can, you can never quite tell, like, right there, whether that was a case of the controls are just a little bit floaty and it's awkward to get to, or whether it's you are just not supposed to go that way, so find another way around. And here we are at another building, full of, surrounded by green slime. And it is the power station. The Station of Power. Any pickups? Once again, my oxygen appears to be lasting for a huge amount of time. Uh, don't want to go too near those wires. They're making a strange noise. Yeah, your jetpack fuel and your oxygen clearly run out at the speed of plot. There's no... Oh, make it, make it. Oh, holy shit. 
There's no I better conserve this or I can use it here. It's just it works until the game requires you to not have it anymore. Okay. There's a thing and it's making Doctor Who noises. This structure appears to draw power from that green rock. I've come across what appears to be a power station of some sort. An array of Tesla coils surrounds a mysterious monolithic structure. The entire apparatus seems to draw its power from a glowing green rock inside the monolith, which levitates and pulses with energy. Well, those Tesla coils are doing sod all. Um, this wire has a strange green glow. Does that indicate that I need... Yeah, there we go. I press that. And what is happening? Oh, the lift is coming down. Please don't be another of those really annoying lift jumping puzzles. No, this one, they've actually thought to put a button on the lift. Again, it's one of those things, it's, it's strange, but in games you just accept it. Because obviously it's a game and it's a puzzle and it's a challenge to get past. But whenever you look at it logically, it's like this sort of cable car thing from earlier on. Who designs a cable car that can't actually be activated by the person who's on it? That someone else has to set it off for them? Now, I, I can understand you could say, oh well, maybe it's security, It has someone has to let you through. But, no, not really, because, yeah, there's an emergency. We're all stuck because some bastard has to stay behind to let us, uh, send us off. Uh, let's go down the steps instead of just leaping. This one doesn't have a... Uh, is this interactable? So I'm guessing the Ruskies found some sort of energy source and it's killed the entire planet because it's going to turn out to actually be a life form and they decided, oh, it's this it thinks you're being attacked. Again, so, oh, God's sake. Find a way to restore power. Well, that cable goes to this, so it's definitely something I have to do over here. Well, that needs to go in there, clearly, but it's not giving me any way to react, uh, uh, interact with it. Hmm, okay, let's look at this logically. I can't interact with it, so what else is there around? It's these strange dropped cables. Can I pick this up? Okay, I'm hitting... Well, I thought I was hitting an invisible wall there. Clearly I wasn't. Now, I don't have anything around here I can pick up. Maybe if we try and interact with this from this side. Yeah, it's that thing needs to go in there, but it's not actually... giving me anything. Is there a control panel on it somewhere? Someone tell me if you can see a control panel. Maybe it is running and it's this wire? No. Okay, so that wire is definitely connected. Goes round there. Goes up to this Tesla coil. It's lost. Oh, don't tell me it's a jumping puzzle and I have to get up to the top of it. <laughs> um, I have become one with the Tesla coil. No, I seem to be phasing through them, so it can't be that. Uh... Okay, what is... Ah, what is this? Well, there appears to be a panel there, but it's not connected to anything that appears to be trashed. See, that one's doing the zappy thing over there. This one isn't. This will not let me interact with it. 
that cable appears to be decoration. Is there another control panel? Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. 